Uh, whoa. whoa, there's a lot of people here. Uh, hey, hi. First, uh, sorry for giving this talk in English. I'm pretty sure that it's, it was more comfortable for all of you to, to hear in French, but sorry for that. I'll give my, at least my part in, in English. Um, I'm Borja, I'm from Spain. Uh, I, I used to work, I mean, I usually work in, in security. And uh, I met Zach uh, a couple of months ago in Rootcon in, in Spain. We were talking about the uh, talk I gave there. And we, we arranged to, to do something together. So please, Zach, introduce yourself. Yeah. So I'm Zach. Hi. Hey. Um, I work as a security consultant. I'm a hacker. I know many faces. I hope many faces recognize me. Long. We, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna speak in English again. So sorry for, for the choice of the language. And OK, I'm going to start with what this talk is not about. This talk is not can you go late? Next. This, this talk is not about extreme hacking. You're not going to listen any you know, we're not going to speak about push, about, about stack, about E, about anything like that. We're going to be very, very low tech. I think the farther we go is an XSS. This is not about, again. We're not going to throw any zero days on screen, at least on screen. If you come after, we can talk about this. It's not about exploitation. We're going to focus on attack vectors. We're going to show you how to attack the devices. We're going to show you how we did, actually, because we, we don't encourage you to attack the devices, by the way. So what is to this talk about? This talk is about playing with kiosks. You know, they're everywhere. They're in Disneyland. When you come here, you see computers with interfaces. This is about ATMs. Um, I think everyone goes to, to the ATMs to take money. So this is, and this will be about how to access to the OS under the, these applicative layers that we call ATM, that we call uh, compu uh, com search computer at the library, et cetera. And we're going to try not to show you how we do it, but maybe what it could mean if you get access to an ATM if you get access to your library computer and what you could do, but again, just on a, on a functional level, no, no, no high tech. There you go. So uh, when I talked to Thak the first time, um, I, I was explaining this slide, mainly why, why I started using this kind of devices. Uh, I, I was living in, in Zagreb, in Croatia, and uh, I, I like to travel as much as I can. So uh, I, I, every time I had to go to anywhere, I had to spend at least one hour on some airport all over Europe. So uh, instead of, well, a most over challenge, curiosity, and not something standard, that means that it's a nice way to, to, to find how to interact with a computer, because it is a computer itself. It was like I spent a lot of time waiting in airports. So there are a lot of places to test there. Also, I, I established a couple of uh, outer rules. So uh, the, the, the most interesting part of this is where you can go just by using your hands or, or wh whatever you have on you. I mean, it's really hard. It's really easy to, to take control over a computer using tools, using external tools. So the main point is to, to, to try to stay as low tech as possible. Uh, also, another rule is to leave everything as found because Zach and I uh, are working on security and we still want to keep working on security. So we'll try to keep everything as, as found. And uh, the, the goal it was to obtain a uh, um, command console or whatever way to execute commands or get control over the, over the, the device itself. OK. Um, the main inputs of, the, of these devices were, uh, some, some of them, they have even a keyboard or a mouse. But most all of them had a touch screen. It, that is the, the best way of, of, of hacking this, these devices. Because uh, a lot of times when you have a keyboard, you, you have a lot of shortcuts to test, a lot of, of, of ways of, of uh, typing into the machine and, and, and getting access to it. So the touch screen maybe is the, is the best way to it. And uh, we, we used a lot of different ways to, to, to get to these computers. 
uh, the race condition, I think you all know what it is. That maybe that joke could uh, explain you better than me. Uh, crash is, as, as you can imagine, is just to crash the main interface of the device by doing whatever you think. Touchy touchy is my uh, copyright pending uh, technique, which means you start touching the screen all over the places until something happens. It happens a lot of times. Uh, using URIs, uh, as, as you can see, touch the next. As you can see, this, these are the URI structures. You can use it to call external programs a lot. Sometimes uh, these devices had control on the standard ones, and you can call maybe the Steam one, and the, and the operative systems try to launch a Steam, and then you get more output from the machine, and then you can do something. And also, uh, XSS, uh, there is another vector for someone. The next time someone tells you that XSS is not a uh, uh, high risk vulnerability. It, it, you can do anything with XSS. You can show them something uh, like this. And also Murphy, uh, which means uh, shit happens that it, it, it wasn't your fault. I mean, you found it like that, or it was the fault of the vendor itself. OK, now we're going to try to present you some results we we found, you know, messing out outside with kiosks. Okay, do, do, do you see w what's this? Do you see the, the names? The, it, it comes from, from uh, in Bibliotech. It's, uh, um, I think you all recognize an XSS. You know what an XSS is. It's like cross-scripting, nobody cares. It's just a random reflected XSS on the search, on the search menu. So do, do, do you know what we did to access to access the computer, because of course we didn't have access to the um, to the other function. All we had is this uh, is, is this screen. It was like a web application. We have access only to the web application. If you try to hit Control Alt Del, Del, sorry, or if you try to hit the Windows button, Windows R, Windows D, nothing works. You know, all I have is the web application. So what we did is try to find to find um, an XSS and go and and hit and hit the, the OS under it. So we, we used, yeah, I was looking for Akira. I don't know if you know the manga, Akira. So w I was looking for this. I added an input and upload. Next thing we do is hit, hit, uh, hit the button, and here we go. We have, we have a, a, first, uh, a first window opened on the, on the hardware, on the OS, actually. So I tried to, I tried Windir, AppData, Nord, Sometimes it works. TMP, nothing, uh, nothing interesting. I tried it on, a, on another device. So what happened? What happened is this little, this little icon. I, I don't know if you see it. Start then works. So again, no big deal. People did their job. Sysadmins did their job. Um, I, I, I can't do anything. I'm a, I'm a guest on this computer. All I have is this. So what I do? What I do is. Do some shodan, do some homeworks, and it, ne next thing I have is I have this screen, which is an interface to uh, ad administrative page of ZenWorks, meaning I couldn't I couldn't access the client directly, but I had enough data, I had enough information on my target to to get access to the to the to the back office, which was by the way accessible from internet without any protection, and again. This is low tech. I didn't even brute force. I just tried a, a random password, and it worked. Okay, this is another one. Do, do, do you see? Do you see the screen? Do, do, do you see what's on there? I was yeah. I was teaching my little daughter how to how to play with with, with application. Do you know what what technique we used? Do you see it? Sorry. Again. No 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 touchy touchy. It's URI. You see. This was a computer. This computer was the same as the other one. Only this time, I had control on the on the uh, on the upper browser, so I could uh, type an URL. So I tap C. I have access to everything. I browse. I go to Windows 32, and there you go. You have CMD with administrative uh, administrative um, rights and Kapla. This is one of my favorites. I went to um, a museum in, in France, Louvre Lens. I don't know if you know it. It's the same thing like Louvre, but it's uh, Lens. And they have this epic, epic uh, device. 
You can use it to, to, visit, to visit the, the museum, and it explains everything. Only I got bored, you know, because um, we went early, we did all the museum, so I started messing with the, um, with the, with the device to see w w what information I can get from it. And the, uh, I, used, uh, I cheated, by the way, because I used an equipment, an equipment that is very, very, very lit. You know what, 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 what I did to, to, to get it? I used this lit and cool equipment, which is my, uh, my shoelace, right? So w with it, I just started poking the side, of the, the side of the device, which was a phone, I think. So I, I rebooted it first. Oh, it's a Galaxy S2. So it's, um, it's a phone. And a phone is, um, today is a, is a computer, but this, this thing, we, we forgot it. So I, I rebooted it. I, I, I messed with it. I, I tried to see if I can do uh, some attacks, some pivot attacks, use it to, and, uh, to, to go with Wi-Fi, but that was too late for me. So what I, do, what I did is uh, booting it up in, uh, in Odin mode, yeah, because it had Odin. And, um, and then the device is mine, you know. Now, this one, this one is for Jason Street here. Do you know this thing, by the way, guys? Uh, is there people, yeah, you're living in Paris, you know what this is? This is uh, Autolib. This is great. Like, you don't need to buy in a car. You just lend it. You have a car, you go and you lend it. Um, the problem is you have no input on Autolib's, uh, Liborne Autolib, right? It's this. It's just this. What you have here, you have a scanner. I don't know. Did someone ever try to get an Autolib? Uh, no? Okay. What you got is a scanner, so you can scan your, your data, your, 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 your license, etc. And you have a camera, so you can call the, some guy in Morocco or wherever and ask him to, to validate your account. So we don't have any, any inputs, right? What can I do? Um, I'm not lit again, at least uh, not now. Um, I don't have zero days, so I called the guy. I, I put some scotch on the scanner. And I started, um, I explained to him, you know, I, I took this, this creamy, angelic voice. And I said, no, I don't understand, sir. I started, you know, speaking French with a Moroccan accent. So he was, oh, again, an immigrant. He, he doesn't know what he's doing. He's not late. I was like, oh, um, je ne comprends rien dans l'info magique, monsieur. And he was, oh, shit, uh, yet, yet, yet another one. So what he did is he rebooted, it, he rebooted the, the whole computer because I told him that's what, what my cousin, who's engineer, that, and he did it, so he, he rebooted it. And next thing I have is this launcher. So again, that, that was a Windows XP, uh, I think you, you've noticed. And that was like uh, weeks ago, right? And with this screen, with all the, uh, all the path, everything just right there for you to, ha to grab. And when you, you, when you double click with your hand, you launch, you launch scripts, you can access to the computer, etc., etc. Oh, this is Fnords. Um, this is another museum. Uh, do, do, do you ever see these screens when you go to a museum in France? In France, I don't know why. Everything cl uh, closes early. So what, what I try to do is I try to reactivate the, the, the machine, to the, the device, to, to get my tickets. But it didn't work. So I started looking, looking in the corners. And look, next thing you know is something comes up when I, when I hit the corner. And this little Windows 7 thingy. And hey! No, no, cut, 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 cut. cut. <laughs> that, that, that was a joke. You could <laughs> yeah. So, you know, f like, again, oh, shit. <laughs> Fnords, uh, for, for those who lived in the 90s or who read Illuminatus. Like, oh, again, hey. So, yeah, so I have a screen, I have a, a keyboard. I can do so much things. I can do... Uh, start, I can do alt tabs, control, control escape, launch applications, uh, look at the date that is false, so maybe there's no updates, but then again, I'm not, I'm not late, I don't know these things. Uh, but I know something, I can read French, and I don't know if you see there's something really weird in the titre de la fenêtre, that means that the developers who made this application and who put it in production environment and maybe pre-production and stuff and stuff and stuff, they didn't even change the name of the application. And they, they gave this at some moment to their customer, and their customer was glad. And I bet you that the WD must be the, the software uh, logo, but I didn't do my homework, I can't tell. So I start messing with, with it because I'm just looking for, for stuff. And do you see something weird here? Like, 
something that should not be on a, on a device that critical because, you know, it takes your money, it gives you tickets. Yeah, you have VNC server and you have Windows updates that are not applicated. Um, it's a shame I'm not leech because maybe with Metasploits, now I have the IP and stuff, I could do some kinky, 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 kinky stuff. And the date is wrong also. So I went into the museum because I bought the ticket and there was this slate, this nice game of Yakari. You know, Yakari, the little Indian. And when, when just touching the side, I have, I have uh, Windows 8 who starts interacting with me. Because, it's, again, it's just that. This slate, this whatever we call a connected object, uh, NG device, is a computer, people. And yeah, a computer with, with what? With, with the shell? with administrator, right? So we can, we, can, we can poke it wherever we want. We can, uh, if, I, if I was lead and I was motivated, which I was not, I could even code a little, a little routine. APT, they call it right now. I used to call them batch programs or batch uh, scripts. And, and annoy, at least, least we can do is annoy people. Oh, uh, this, is my, my, this, is, this is not an uh, own device, not really. Can you, can you tell me what you see? Do you see something? Because I know the picture is not clear. We took it with, with the phone. You see a computer with Windows XP, right? Yeah, but that's not what... There's something else that's worrying me. Don't you see anything, guys? Ouverture facile, maybe? Yeah, Yeah. it's a Dell. It's a computer. You know, they didn't even make the, take the effort to put it in the, in the box in front of, you know, uh, uh, which lies under the, under the screen, the Windows Express screen of the session that is open and available. So what I did is plug a little Bluetooth dongle. That's again, that, that's, not, that's not a rubber, rubber dongle or anything. A Bluetooth, a Bluetooth dongle with a USB dongle from Logitech for all of what it means. And I can do stuff from, uh, from away. The, the, the guy uh, in charge of security, physical security, didn't see nothing. He, did, he didn't care, you know. Certainly, technicians from Morocco doing maintenance. Again, this is, this is in a cinema uh, in France. Or this is called a display screen or uh, NG, I don't know, slate of iPad of hell. Um, in Morocco, by the way, which is my country, we call this a, a screen with a computer, but then you don't know. So what, what I did again is plug a Bluetooth, Bluetooth keyboard, lay 100 meters away and start typing, you know, and, and making fun with it. Oh, Auchan, you know Auchan, right? Yeah, yeah, you like Auchan. And Auchan is so cool because like every supermarket 2.3.0, they're giving you this solution that can help you tag in your, 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 your stuff when you're, when, when you're buying. You don't go to the, sh to the nice shopping lady. We can, you know, we can, we can fix her out. We can say, no, we don't have money to pay you. We have automatic devices. So I started fuzzing the device, which means really, uh, hitting the button hard too many times until it goes for blue and then I have the the original menu and look Original menu what I have I have so many things I have device info which is MC simple MC 17 and I swear to God I didn't do anything but Google I didn't know wh what was this thing name you have Mac address so for the very elite like uh, like people there they can they can do sophisticated attack on Wi-Fi because this device collects what you buy what where you are situated in the in the shop etc etc then I have this screen, yeah, with this epic, epic IP. Uh, I hope you did your homework, uh, RFC 1918, quiz surprise. Uh, it's 128.37.214.186. Uh, does it tell you something? Uh, I see that DOD contractors are starting to stress, yes. This is, uh, this is an American DOD IP range. It's at Fort Knox or something right there. Uh, again, sysadmins didn't do their homework neither. They didn't even learn RFC 1918. And they want to get in sophisticated place. And there's this button, unlock. Remember, I'm, I'm not lit. I'm just discovering stuff. So what I do when I see unlock? Guess. <laughs> Behold, the human feather. Oh, we don't have the video. Shoot. Give me a second. I didn't, oh, I, I, I got to confess, I didn't pay my homage to the demo words, demo gods. So this is messed up. So we're going to, oh, you're showing everything you pawned. You're going to jail, you know. This is my face. I know, I'm cute. I stole this from Jamie. Auchan MP4. 
just launch it. Okay, this is me in the same suit, you know, looking cool. Just waiting. Oh, check. Uh, this is how you do it, you know. Again, no lead skill. That's really nothing, you know, I just hit the button. That's not, anyone can do it. Oh, but no, 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 no. Get fair. Fair the Chinese, fair the APTs, the big data and stuff. Okay, so what, what I do with this device, maybe I'm going to use a an USB and put a sophisticated malware in it, but malware must die, you know, and I can't encourage this, so because it's too high tech. What I do is work like a low tech guy. I Google it, it's worth $900. You, you know Le Puce de saint Ouen, right? If I go there, I sell it for 700 euros. If I'm an evil guy, I made my day, but I'm not, right? Then, Murphy Law. J'ai vu un shell, je suis rentré. I didn't even look for it, you know. I think I was drunk that night, I was working in the street. Suddenly, I, found, I find this, you know. It's, it says Diebold Text Terminal. When, if you Google it, it's a vendor of ATMs, an American vendor of ATMs, and they sold, I'm not going to say what bank it is, by the way, because that's not ethical. And they sell these tactical, touchable ATMs. And walking on the street, what I found, I find this. And with, with, with the bar, I start clicking, I start browsing. So, but you can do nothing. These devices are not plugged, and they're not, they're not, uh, they're, there is nothing wrong with it. Only documentation on FDisk, you know, documentation that let you get free money, but you can do this in ATMs, right? And kids in Quebec can't do it. Another one, walking in the metro, that's Franklin Roosevelt, uh, Parisian people. And what is there is taskng.exe. Uh, it's the scheduler task motor in Windows crashed. But thank God, the sysadmins did their homework, and it was a, a low, low account, you know. Or administrator, it's low account, right? It means guest or something like this? No, 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 it means administrator. So, yeah, RATP pwned. And then I give you sp the, sp the Spanish side of the, <laughs> of the, <laughs> the pwning. So, um as, as Thak saw you, we, we have found a lot of devices, and this is mainly the, the, the purpose of the talk, to, to show you all these devices. Uh, this is a, an interactive ticket selling machine with a webcam, and then I started, as I told you, I think it, it was the first screen. I, I don't even have bird in this one. And, and I started touching all over the corners, and then suddenly on one corner the application closes, and I was like, whoa, whoa. Uh, quick, take a picture of this. I start again the application and I run from there. So there you have one full desktop, so you can do whatever you want. So this is the first one. It's not so so interesting. So next. So uh, yeah, this is in in Croatia, in one airport in Croatia. Uh, this is a, a check-in machine for different airlines. You can do, I mean, you, you can select the application. You have a full keyboard. You have a, a mouse to be more comfortable if you don't like to use that screen. So, so then you can do whatever you want. I mean, just by using, I don't know, I don't, I don't remember if I used filed. Also, it's uh, really useful for the browsers to use the auto download feature because you can browse to C download the cmd.x and then run from there inside the same browser and then you got a prompt and you can do that with, with wherever you want so you can get that from any computer this is uh, also here in, in France uh, it's an um, internet uh, pay machine I mean I really don't like this kind of devices because I, I can't even imagine how how can make you pay so much for one hour or 15 minutes of internet connection. So there you have a full keyboard again. And you have a, a, a Chrome browser with a game. This was a game that allows you to play for free. This is the only thing that you can do. But from the game, you can jump to the developer's website, and it opens in a, in a Chrome browser. And from then, you can browse to the file system and download the CMD, run it, so you can have whatever executable of the system you want. So. Also, it's really interesting that if you want to do something else with the computer, at least you have the privileges enough to do it. So, 
you can run as administrator whatever you want. Uh, yeah, it, this is the almost the same machine, but in a full computer, in a desk, uh, in in some corners of the airport. You have a lot of this, and I and I decided to do some something else with it because I really wanted to to visit Engadget, you know, the website Engadget of technology and so, and I really wanted to visit it and nothing else. I really don't want to mess around. So, I I was browsing the system. The then I saw I had, um, I think in the next slide. Yeah, uh, it has a local proxy running on the computer, filtering all the URLs that you're browsing. So if you try to browse anything, uh, regardless the, the the three URLs that you can visit, you are going to be redirected to the portal asking you to pay. So from a CMD, I could uh, I was able to edit the rules of the squid running in local, adding gadget as a allowed URL, browse, read my news close again and, and run. So yeah. <laughs> also in, in another computer of the same of the same airport uh, in in the in the same kind of device I found out that that they were giving you uh, USBs and SD card readers. So I said if I can reboot the device I can do something else. I, I, I'm not a Windows user at all, so I feel more comfortable with this. So I plugged my USB that I always carry on, and, and I rebooted on Backtrack, so perfect. You have a, a full penetration testing uh, Linux distribution running inside an, uh, a network, so you can do. From here, it's, it's for sure you can do whatever you want. Uh, this is also pretty funny because it's a, a pretty big screen, and it was a little bit tricky to make this application crash. I was browsing, you know, spending my time at the airport. I had like two hours and I was looking at my watch. Okay, and I started browsing using the application, try to, if I could escape in any corner or doing something. It was a full screen application. It wasn't in a browser. It, it was really hard to get. And then I changed the language and, and, and I noticed that the application went slow for, for a second. And I started like, hmm, maybe if this is Windows, for sure it will crash if it gets a little bit laggy. And you can imagine a, a guy like me in the middle of the airport with a 50-inch screen touching on the next page and change language in the, at the same time, okay, as fast as I can. And then the application crashed. I got to the desktop, <laughs> and I had a, a Windows 7 machine with everything with the task manager and whatever you want. Uh, also, I had to be fast in this one because I had to, to kill the, the original task because it was going to be relaunched in, I don't know, five seconds or so. But after you kill it, you can have your own uh, terminal and do whatever you want. Ah, of course, maybe you can see it, yeah, administrator again. So you have permissions enough. Okay. So uh, this is an ATM. This is a technique way for it, or as Zach tells, um, the the Murphy one. I mean, you just if you see any any at any time uh, an ATM rebooting, stay stay in front of it until he it, it ends all the reboot process because you will get a second of the of the Windows uh, desktop for sure. Uh, also, oh, this is one a, a friend of mine sent sent it to me a couple of days ago. This is uh, uh, on a train on the wall of, on a train. These people is used to make. Um, uh, physical system security devices with uh, video vigilance and whatever. So uh, you also have a full computer with it. Administration of permissions. So next. We don't have time? Okay. okay. Uh, ticket selling machine from a cinema. Also, uh, this is more interesting because as you can see here, you have a, a, pay, a paywall. So you, you insert your card there, your credit card there. So. When I found this, and I found that I was able to access to the system, I, I, you can you can launch whatever you want, do whatever you want. This is even more dangerous because you, people used to 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 insert their their cards there. So next, Sorry. Uh, okay, okay. Then another one, if you wait uh, for an ATM to rebuild, you have all the privileges. This is uh, another banking machine to give change to everyone. This is a race condition. And if you touch 
just after the, the screensaver, you get access to the, to the taskbar, and from then you can do whatever you want. So this is you. OK, so wh wh where are all these, all these devices we saw? Earlier, Damien, uh, Virtual Labs showed you that critical devices or uh, connected devices in houses are, are impacting your life if we hack it. These, where are they? It's the equivalent of SCADA. They're everywhere, like ghost people. They are in, in check-in, boarding, UGC, uh, RATP. I can say all the trending marks if you want me to get a, a lawsuit. And what they can give you, free tickets to the museum, free tickets for UGC, SNCF, etc. for those people who can't take their tickets at SNCF because it's always scratchy. They have bad hard drive, by the way. Um, so, but yeah, everyone always, no, Zach, it's not connected. Borja, Borja it's not connected. Nobody gonna connect these devices. Yeah, I got angry in Rootcon with this, uh, with this thing because a guy told me, no, 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 but you, you get access to an ATM, you can't get access to anything else because this, because they are PCI DSS compliance, and I was like, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, whatever you want. Sure. But for sure you will. So uh, I think we are running out of time, so we are going to... So, yeah. yeah, so yeah, th this was the, our point. It was easy, no professional tools, no really technical skills yeah yeah you're late. <laughs> and also the, the environments where these computers are are interesting also the atms but uh, all the information devices if they are in a network with a lot of other computers that could be worse to 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 research so ah, also some of them have internet access so okay so what happens when i visit a place too much too often they find new technologies people i i, I I swear I was not going to use a, a buzzword in my presentation, but this is next gen, this is NG, this is epic state of security. They put a paper on it, and I couldn't hack it, so good one. So what to do? I think the story about inputs and people who do websec, like Paul Websec, who I see right there, can, can say it. It's protect the input, like Snow White, if she opened her eyes and see the, the, the weird apple the old lady gave her, maybe she, she won't, wouldn't buy, but she, she did, and she got pawned, pawned Disney. So visual, visualize the input, sanitize it always, you know. And okay, next, next NG, now NG, we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go high tech, we're gonna hack QR code, we're gonna hack more things, get more ATMs, they're new coming in the market, test new entry points, and yeah, uh, make it look fun like in Watch Dogs, you know, like Epic Script Kitty. I hit one button, I hack everything. Watch out. Oh. Oh, okay, for questions and answers. Yeah, no, it's okay. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, um, again, yeah. yeah. Do you have questions? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. We're running out of time, sorry. You Thank you. We're showing just a video. No, it's okay. We, are, on a 10 minutes, we'll oh. we have 10 more minutes. Yay! Make noise. Okay, guys, please, just uh, you to leave here, yeah. we have a special rescue vehicle yeah. uh, with oh. tainted window and so oh. on, so you can escape by the back door. Thank you. And they're there. They're <laughs> looking for me. I know yeah, that. They are coming for you, sure. Uh, I'm sure I we won't all... I won't make Yeah, and uh, I agree with the Murphy Law. I don't know where... Sh I'm sure everyone saw that uh, ATM, buggy ATM under Windows 95, eventually. Oh ho! Oh, oh oh oh! That's a surprise. We, ha we have a surprise, yeah. That, look, this is a ticket delivery machine, and you print, but you know the the other way. There's no printer. Oh yes, there is a printer. P I T. What happens when you when you click imprime? That's print in Spanish. It's here, people. It's not fake. All you haters, it's not fake. <laughs> and that's not all they have for you guys. Yeah. You can, I think you can do it. Yes, absolutely. Another surprise for you people. Yes, of course. Okay. Yeah, um, we're, we're, we're not co-branded watchdogs, but we spammed them, you know. We said that we, we're doing some cool hacks, that we as a community, they, they said something about hacking is our weapon. and. That we are the real hacker, you know, people like you, 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 us. 
and they gave us stuff like goodies, you know, like T-shirts, stickers. So if you want them, ask lit questions. Yeah. Any question, new idea, if someone has an ATM at home it's and is able to A question to for to a t-shirt. <laughs> so, so we'll give you stickers, we'll give you a keychain. I don't know, they gave, us, they gave us a lot of things because they were really interested in this talk, so. You can ask in French if you are more comfortable. And Hi, um, do you know, yeah, I'm there. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Do you nice know haircut. there is a, a security flaw like that, but in uh, McDonald's with the automated... Uh where, in where, sorry? McDonald's. McDonald's? Yeah. Uh, the one running on Windows XP? No, I don't know. Yes, there uh, is we never a, tried. There is like a hide and move? No. I, I'm, I'm vegetarian. I don't go to McDonald's, but... <laughs> <laughs> I got to Pizza Hut. Yeah, we can, <laughs> we can spawn uh, a login uh, like a chill, but we need a... A pin code and uh, we start looking on it, but um, each time with when I go to lunch break, you know, I go there just start spam it with with a special screen. You know, the screen yeah. is not yeah. not so funny. It's like a BlackBerry, and <laughs> each time I there's a guy, a, a big black guy, you know, who comes looking. What, what are you doing? So, uh, <laughs> and there you go, your T-shirt. So hi, I would like to follow up on the hey. on the next question. Yep. Did you ever get free food or free drinks? from your attempts? It's unethical, I want to answer this question. That's unethical, of course, we, we never did, we never went over exploitation. We, we did this only, the POCs were really light, you know. No, no, did they ever offer you? Oh. Uh, uh, since you showed them, like, look, guys. We signed NDAs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, a couple, a couple of, of people uh, got me on RootCon and ask, uh, when I asked for an ATM, and they told me that, uh, that they will, they will give me an ATM to test, but after the, the Congress, when you start to talk with people, as, as Zach said, they always start like, yeah, okay, but if, but if, I mean, I, we, we, we didn't do anything wrong. We just returned everything as it was, but I really want to test. I mean, I have new ideas, as I said, we, we, we have, yeah. We no, 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 not at all, just people offering to uh, give us, uh, at least for me, give more chances to, to test things, but I've never uh, ended uh, something really, really useful, so. Okay, so you were doing these, uh, all these hacks and exploits and testing and viewing in the pure public space. No one that were viewing the security cameras that were all over the place, they never questioned, they never thought, why are these guys hanging out here for 20 minutes? Okay, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nice, very good question, actually. When I was in Spain and I hacked a net, I, uh, I did a POC, people from Lancel looking at me, when I did a POC on a, a Spanish ATM because he hacked all these French ATM and didn't show any Spanish ATM, that I felt that it was racist. I, I tried to, and you know, some Chinese people, uh, tourists in Madrid were looking weird at me. But yeah, um, they don't do anything, you know. I, I, act like the, I act like you do, I do what you, taught, <laughs> what you taught us all these years. You know, I try to act dumb like the guy who doesn't know. But once in Auchan, on the auto, auto shopping uh, kiosk, uh, I tried, th there was this VNC and I was like in zombie mode, looking at, uh, ignoring my pretty girlfriend and going to the, to, to the kiosk, but the guy uh, said, no, no, it's in mansion. It was the only time. Only once. Only once. Sur les distributeurs de billets, j'ai vu, il euh, y a une, une faille importante à ce moment, c'est qu'il y a beaucoup de négligence au niveau des logins password. Et il y a même un gamin qui a réussi aux USA à hacker un distributeur de billets. Est-ce que c'est le cas chez nous ou euh, dans d'autres pays Parce que c'est quand même critique, ça. Bah, on, on, comme j'ai dit, en fait, on n'est jamais parti très, très, très lit. Hein. Euh, on n'a jamais fait de brute forcing euh, automatisé. On n'a on a jamais essayé de, de, de pousser les, les attaques. Tout ce le, je pense que le mot de passe le plus difficile qu'on a trouvé, c'est admin admin ou des trucs comme ça. Et sinon, ouais. une, euh, sur la, une des ATM que j'ai montré, qui appartient à une banque française euh, connue, Oui. Il y avait la documentation, en fait, la, la, la puissance, de la sécurité de ce type d'ATM, c'est l'obscurité, c'est le fait que ce n'est pas documenté. En fait, il y avait toute la documentation dans un disque euh, à côté, donc, mais... C'est des stickers. Et sur les automates, euh, c'est pareil, il y a des problèmes de sécurité sur les automates euh, des magasins automatiques, genre, euh, je ne sais plus, il y a un nom d'une marque française, où il y a énormément de failles euh, prévues ou pas 
euh, on, on prévient eux, on, fait, on, on essaie de prévenir, mais ce n'est pas souvent en France. En tout cas, les bug bounty, les, les, les bug bounty programmes sont, sont encore très jeunes et très peu pris au sérieux. Donc, euh. yeah, well. Thanks for the talk. But, uh, just a follow-up to the previous question about, uh, so in fact, you never got in trouble for doing that. And uh, when, when that becomes a uh, kind of a habit, uh, have you like started doing it uh, when you weren't supposed to do it? Or well, uh, like you said, with your girlfriend or with friends or doing something uh, outside, and then you start testing for something you shouldn't be testing? Okay, I started doing this and Borja too, I think, and many, many of you in school, you know, when we had these first computers uh, in Windows 98, what was it? And I started, you know, using URI to access the... the yeah, my, my, my school was noobs, they, they had Windows. <laughs> and we started hitting, you know, C, C2 point, URI, you know, it used to work at that time. And yeah, now I do it, I, but I do it on every, every, every time. Every time I get, I get spam or I, I get something, I try to... An SQLDI, you know, that's, that's a habit, I think. You think I need to see a doctor or a professional? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, guys. Uh, have you had experience uh, with Citrix, Lockdown Desktops, Terminals, or RDS, very recent versions of them? Have you tried all your tricks on them and either succeed or failed? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, on some Windows 8, but in molds, all I met is Windows XP and Windows CE 5.0, so. Okay. And, but, uh, yeah, there, 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 was, there was a picture of a UGC, UGC? Okay. Exactly. UGC kiosk, and, yeah. you know, just when you're, you're using the screen, I didn't even do it by habit. Uh, it's uh -huh. not even my fault, I didn't hack it. J'ai pas fait exprès, en fait. Got it. You know, I just was using the, trying to get the ticket, and you have the suivant and the précédent. So that tells me that it's a Windows 8, and next thing happens. Uh, okay. Yeah, but maybe we maybe we need to, to do some classification next time and try to see to see if we can we can target Citrix. But as I said, we do we did it like uh, we, with candid eyes. You know, we were just like trying less less homework. This is an open request for an ATM with all kind of operative <laughs> systems. So. Uh huh. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Great speech. Thank you. We have more stickers, so don't hesitate to come if you want watchdog stickers or more info. And if there is a girl with tattoos, Borja likes girls with tattoos, and he's here until tomorrow. Uh, just uh, one down question. Um, I was just wondering if uh, in some case you just can buy some obvious intrusion, if this kind of ATM or whatever. Never. You know, uh, like Jason said, when we do it, you know, we, we have this, this feeling, this bad feeling bad people have, even if we're mm. up to good, even if we're not up to no good, double negation. But we, I'm always thinking, like, because I'm a blue team, I'm a purple teamer, you know, I work mm. on blue teams too, so I'm like, yeah, there's, there's an escalation, this is a scenario or something, but nothing happens, you know. Even the security guys, they look at us and they're like, oh, that's some random guys. Thank you. I mean, I'm, I'm uh, so lucky of, of being uh, working in a, in a penetration testing team. We work with banking and, and assurance, and uh, uh, we haven't found this kind of, of intrusion. But what I want to, to make people see is that it is possible. I mean, the hard way of taking control of, uh, of an ATM is to get into the network. And if you get to the device itself, you, you, you are one step over. I mean, if you, you can get to the device, you can do whatever you want. And also, as I said, PC, IDS, blah, 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 whatever, no. No, 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 a lot of times there are bad configurations. Uh, no, because we opened that port to, to let someone connect to update, I don't know, wherever. So, no, it's wrong. So if you take control of one of those machines, for sure, if you take time enough, you'll, you'll break <laughs> a lot of things, for sure. Uh, so you, uh, you showed us uh, a video footage of you uh, using an ATM to print the tickets, right? The, oh. Yes, the one you... Uh, yeah, it was, it was a ticket machine in a small place in, in, in my village. Okay. So. so do you think it's possible to directly print cash with an ATM? <laughs> no, it's not directly printing cash. I mean, that is not how it works, but the point is that uh, to show that, that 
with that machine, I think you can print tickets to go to, uh, to a pool, to go to the cinema, and to go, I don't know, to a couple of places. And also, you have two printers in that device. One was the ticket, uh, the, I mean, the, the pool tickets and the cinema tickets, and the other one, the, the ticket of the bill itself. So you could print fake bills, or I mean, if you're creative, you can do a lot of things. Also, taking control of an ATM, it's, it's hard, I mean, it's hard to make an ATM print, uh, release the money. Because but, it isn't printed, by the way. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> but not printing, but uh, release it. Uh, but as I said, I think if you uh, spend enough time on one device, for sure you will, for sure. Uh, bonjour. Salut. Euh, comme, comme au début, vous disiez que vous perdiez souvent beaucoup de temps dans les terminaux d'aéroport. Je me suis demandé si, dans l'avion en lui-même, vous aviez déjà essayé de vous introduire dans le terminal qui se trouve souvent dans les fauteuils et qui permet de retransmettre des films, etc. Alors moi, je, je, je vole dans des, dans des compagnies aériennes low cost, donc euh, j'ai pas la chance d'avoir des, <rire> des systèmes embarqués. Euh, par contre, euh, il y a d'autres personnes qui ont essayé, euh, pareil, avec des, à, via d'autres chemins, en fait, d'arriver à ces, à ces terminaux-là. Mais en principe, c'est pas censé être connecté. Mais les gens qui développent, les sociétés qui développent euh, des logiciels embarqués liés pas avec, euh, avec plein d'autres outils ont pensé que c'était super, euh, super cool, super intelligent, super marketing euh, euh, friendly de mettre des, des ponts entre euh, ce qui se passe dans l'avion, euh, des interfaces de stats, etc. Et puis des appareils Android. Et à la route de con, si vous regardez, il y a quelqu'un qui a présenté ça. Euh, comment il a poné, un, comment il a chatté, il a réussi à chatter avec un pilote d'avion depuis euh, un Android et depuis un X, une XSS en fait, donc, euh, donc oui, mais on ne l'a pas fait. Voilà. Bon, merci beaucoup à tous. C'est superbe. Merci de venir. Thank you.